Just thinking, I think he'd be uh, kind of overshadowing as many years left and there's a lot of wins and a lot of accomplishments being done. What is music just a great strength? Talent, 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 and talent. I, mean, I think he's extremely talented. Probably one thing he has over some of the other kids that I've seen are very, very talented and also a very smart driver. He, uh, he doesn't panic. He uh, frustrates you sometimes because you, you don't have all the details. So when you're falling back or you're losing spots, you get frustrated or irritated. But that's the same reason why he's so good because he knows what he has. He doesn't push it over the limit. He doesn't tear up race cars. And, uh, you know, he started Texas way too loose. And he fell back to seven, found a nice comfortable place to ride, clicked off some laps, gave us an opportunity to adjust on the car. And, you know, when you have a guy like that, it keeps you in contention, it keeps you on the racetrack, it gives you opportunity to be better. That really is a key element of the racetrack. Is it not that ability to be able to sit back and analyze the car and give you the right information? You can't win from the pits. You know, my dad taught me that a long time ago racing up here in the Northeast. And we had some of the most talented drivers around the area to drive our stuff when we were up here. And and we always seem to tear stuff up. And then we had some that I didn't think were as talented in our late models and pushing with cars. And uh, we always won a lot more, and that's what he taught me. He taught me you can't win from the pitch. You have to have a guy that will get it to the end, give the crew, the crew chief, and everybody the opportunity to make changes. And uh, Jeff is remarkable at that. He's very good at feedback. Uh, he's very good at never settling with an average car. And, uh, and then he knows when he's in the last run of a race, he gets very, very quiet, does his business, and, and he's, very, he's one of the best at it. Finally getting that bumpy off of his back. Um, you know, so, you know, is this week kind of coming to bad time? Tell everyone, uh, and <laughs> oh, man, there's nothing better than winning off week. Are you kidding me? That's 14 days to get to enjoy instead of seven. So, uh, 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 there's no such thing as a bad win. There's no such thing as a bad time when it comes to a win. Uh, if there's any other race we could have won throughout the season, I don't think there's one I picked over Texas. Uh, that place has uh, been an Achilles and a heel as a team, and, and personally, I've had I've struggled there. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's just a, it's a great relief to go win and win like we did. Have a fast race car, put in a team effort, and, and you know, just go win. Are you noticing that sense of relief from him to finally get that win? Kind of back on track. Uh, you know, I don't think not. Yeah, not yet. I don't think it's really sunk in with us all. Uh, we're, it's kind of back to business. You know, we're up here testing. Uh, we're fortunate to get on the track once today. Had a little bit of weather, but. Uh, you know, we're excited to be up here. This is a, a great place for us. It's a very important race come September. So we're trying to make sure we have all our, you know, ducks in a row. And so keep running. And the team itself, Hendricks Motorsports, it's that's stretch. I'm sorry? The, the, the team, Hendricks Motorsports, what is the greatest stretch? Well, I mean, the advantage of Hendricks Motorsports has always been our depth. Our ownership is, uh, he's quite a leader. He's very successful in business, very successful on and off the track. And uh, you know, his strength is his leadership. And he does a very good job of kind of raising all of us in the family and teaching us how to race. And more than how to race, but how to treat people, how to treat your employees. That's what it really comes down to. You've got to have great employees, great team members, and uh, that's definitely our strength. Our strength ahead of most sports has always been our people. Always been our people. And have you seen the team where the teams, the drivers, they work together so well? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's very hard when you have four superstars to work as well together as they do. It's, it's amazing. That comes from the boss. And uh, it's a mindset. It's not something we're forced to do. It's some, not really something we're expected to do. We just do it. That's, that's how our company works. And uh, Chad and I take great pride in how well we work together, uh, what kind of friendship we have, what kind of leadership we, we give to our team specifically in the 24 and 48, and uh, to go run one-two at Texas, that made it even more special.